news. This right here, a live picture of Allegiant Stadium just off the Las Vegas Strip. Been there yet? Fox 11 is bringing you the Thursday night football matchup between the Chargers and the Raiders. Starts one hour from now. That's why we are here on early. I'm Christine Devine. Alex Michelson is off tonight. We go straight to breaking news at four. Coming up here, uh, police are saying that there are two teen girls who were attacked in separate attacks in Baldwin Park. We recently told you about the first incident, which happened last Friday on Big Dalton and Central Avenue. The suspect grabbed the victim from behind, trying to take her cell phone. She refused, got away after a struggle. We're learning now that just three days later, police think the same person targeted a girl in a similar attack on Violent Avenue and Ahern Drive. Police say the suspect is in his late teens, approximately five foot seven. There's a picture right there. So it's urging any information to come forward. And new details on the death of actor Andre Brower. A representative has revealed that the actor, best known for TV roles of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Homicide. Hey, the holiday travel rush, the TSA is making you aware of a feature that could help you at the security checkpoint. Agency teaming with the Los Angeles World Airports at LAX today. They're demonstrating how TSA pre-check travelers can use their California mobile driver license to verify their identity at security checkpoints. The mobile license can be stored on your phone through the California DMV wallet app instead of using a physical ID card. We 